Good morning, students. Children, do you enjoy staring at the sky? Do you like to see the different objects that you see in the sky? We all do, isn't it? Sometimes with curiosity or sometimes when we just stare in the, at the sky and see different twinkling objects in the sky. The sky looks like this, isn't it, children? At night, we are talking about, at night you look at the sky and it looks almost like this. Some are bright, twinkling objects, some are little uh, lesser bright or dull, uh, twinkling object. Okay, now this is our universe. It's a really mystery, children. Children, it is so said that the universe was formed just with a bang that is called the Big Bang. Most probably the universe emerged about 13 billion years ago. It began with a minute and unimaginably hot ball which suddenly burst out paving the way to the universe with the biggest explosion of all times called the Big Bang. You, as you know, the scientists are researching about this Big Bang, about the hole, the dark hole we have in the universe. This explosion was so mighty that everything is still emerging from it. That is the reason why the universe is expanding. It is moving bigger and bigger. Even today, after 13 billion years, astronomers can still locate the faint afterglow, popularly known as cosmic microwave beyond the radiation, illuminating the entire night sky. So, children, this is unexplored. Many things the scientists are till, still going on, exploring, finding out. The universe takes it, Earth and its moon, the sun, the solar system. And they say that our, we, as we have the solar system with the sun in the middle and all the planets moving around. In this way, there are many, many galaxies in this universe. The Milky Way, the galaxy we know and the galaxies which we haven't yet discovered. So this is our whole universe. It's just beyond our imagination, children. That's very big. The galaxies are spread over such unimaginable distance that even a space probe would take 2 billion years to cross our galaxy. Our galaxy. The galaxy where we have the sun and the planets moving around, it is so big, it will take billions of years to move. Okay, and our galaxy is known as Milky Way or Akashgama. And it is getting bigger and bigger because scientists are, you know, ex experimenting and finding out and different things. Okay, dark mystery, we can't see everything in space. Experts say that there are a lot of mysterious dark matter between the stars. Um, so, children, this is our universe in front of you. When we see the sky, we see different things, children. Children, universe includes everything you can imagine. It, can, it comprises of the stars. The stars are those heavenly bodies which gives us light. Planets, the earth is our planet, we will be discussing about it. Moons, all the natural satellites, animal plants and all other things, they are the, it all takes in account the empty spaces between various heavenly bodies. Now, children, the universe is ever-changing. It is growing bigger and bigger and we are in this universe, okay? Our planet, the earth is in this universe. Children, in this lesson, we are going to talk about the 
earth and its neighbors okay first of all when you look at the sky in the daytime uh, children you cannot look at the sky for long because the sun rays obstruct you you get uh, obstruction because you can't see but at night when we move away from the sun it is night and we can gaze at the sky and we can see that the sky is full of heavenly bodies now whatever it is it's in the space are called heavenly bodies or heavenly objects the tiny specks of light that appear in the sky the stars as you know they have their own light light and heat but remember the sun is our nearest star all other stars which you see very very tiny and far away they are millions and millions kilometers away from us and uh, slow moving bright bodies are called planets and we are going to discuss that like earth there are many other planets and children i tell you that everything is changing every day new new and new discoveries are taking place the scientists are uh, astronomers are finding new things at present we know that we have eight planets including our earth where life exists so we are going to talk about this the stars the planets the moons in this chapter thank you children